tonight here at 11 o'clock. Officials in charge of all school sports in Massachusetts are explaining why they've banned an entire school from the playoffs next year. But as WBZ's Christina Rex shows us, their explanation isn't good enough for parents who say the kids are being punished for mistakes that were made by coaches. Bishop Fenwick kids are forced to say goodbye to tournament season after a June decision by the state's high school athletic association became public over the weekend. It's not fair to punish the kids for something we had no control over, really. Hundreds of parents and kids gathered at the school Monday to learn details of why the MIAA suspended the school from postseason sports. According to the association, the school allowed a seventh grader to play varsity baseball without the proper permission and was dishonest about students' qualifications when applying for a fifth year of athletic eligibility. We're trying to create a level playing field and equity across the state. And in order to do so, um, you know, there are some legitimate reasons why student athletes need a fifth year. Uh, but when they pass four years and uh, they're looking to simply play an extra year in academics or to reclassify um, that creates an unfair playing field. So for a penalty, no Bishop Fenwick teams, regardless of the sport, will be allowed to play in the postseason next year at all. The school and its student athletes tell me they feel the MIAA is punishing the wrong people. Just the thought of like not being able to like even have a chance to win it this year is like just like awful. Do the right thing. Do not punish these kids. Go after the school. If it's a fine, that's fine. I have no problem with that. The school's president faced criticism from parents for keeping the process quiet for months. He believes the punishment outweighs the so-called crime. None of it was through ill will or malice or deceit or an attempt to lie or cheat in any way, shape or form. While the decision is final, the school has retained an attorney to try and fight it. Parents worry about the long-term effect this could have on the school. I worry that a lot of students are going to end up transferring to another school um, that, that's going to jeopardize this school and their future. And at the end of the day, for, for what? In Peabody, Christina Rex, WBZ News.